Hi everyone, my name is Meredith Gilbert and I'm a communication specialist for the Ohio Division of Wildlife. It's a beautiful day here in Northwest Ohio, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you just how easy it is to add a pollinator plot to your backyard. Pollinators are essential for the world's plant populations and to our food crops, so we want to make sure we're doing everything we can to help them out. One of the easiest ways to help out our pollinators is to add some native wildflowers to your backyard. So behind me is the area that I've chosen to add my pollinator plot. And right now is the perfect time to plant. If you're not quite ready to plant this spring, you can plant again in the fall and you'll have a pollinator plot the next spring. First thing to do is to remove all of the grasses or weeds and get down to that bare earth. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. If you have a little bit more time, you can lay down newspapers or cardboard, anything to block out that sunlight and let your grass die off naturally. Or if you're a bit more anxious to get started, you can remove your grass manually by digging and just keeping as much of that topsoil as there as possible. Once you have all of the grass removed, rake down into your dirt to a depth of about an inch or so, and then you're ready to plant. This is the, the seed mixture that I've chosen. It has about a dozen different native seeds, things like coneflowers, milkweeds, partridge peas, and black-eyed Susans that'll be perfect for this sunny spot in my backyard. So now you're ready to lay down your seeds. Try and distribute them as evenly as possible and just drop them right on top of your dirt. Once you've got your seeds down, stamp over top of them. This will push your seeds down into the earth just a little bit. You don't want to get them too deep or they won't be able to germinate. Once you're planted, go ahead and give them a drink and continue watering regularly for about four to six weeks until you see those sprouts start to come up. Once you see those sprouts, you can monitor what plants you're getting and what pollinators are coming to those plants and see how that changes year after year. Don't get discouraged if your pollinator plot isn't quite as robust or maybe full as you think it should be your first year. These are perennial plants we're putting in and they'll get bigger and better year after year. If you'd like to find more information about pollinators and how to help them in your backyard, check out our newly updated Backyards for Butterflies publication at wildohio.gov.